Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at the 1996 horror film, Bad Moon. Please like and subscribe and let's get started. During a work expedition in Nepal, Ted Harrison, a photojournalist, is working alongside his girlfriend Marjorie. Not two minutes into the movie and there's already nudity. Something in the trees is scaring the horses. The horses break free and the men chase after them. Meanwhile, Ted notices something outside the tent. It rips his girlfriend out and slashes his chest. The beast is just tearing her apart. Ted crawls to a gun and his girlfriend gets spiked like a volleyball. He shoots the beast, blowing its head clean off its shoulders. Back in the United States, we meet a boy named Brett and his best buddy, a German shepherd named Thor. A strange man comes walking up and Thor is already on high alert. The boy's mother Janet comes out asking what he wants. The man claims he's selling books, but he's really just a swindler looking to make a quick buck. He feigns an attack, prompting Thor to bring him to the ground. The man claims he's been bitten and he's going to sue, so Janet hands him her card as she's a lawyer. The man just slinks away as he's been beaten at his own con. Later that night, there's a man in the forest taking measurements of the trees. He hears a noise in the distance but blows it off as nothing. The noise is heard again but much closer and much louder. The man is now terrified and starts running. He comes to a stop taking a breather, but it's right above him and bites right through his helmet. The next morning, Janet gets a call from her brother Ted, the man from the beginning of the film. He's back at the lake and wants to see them. So they pile in and head to see him. Thor just loves his car rides. They arrive at the lake and everyone is happy to see each other. However, Ted notices Thor is doing some smelling over by some rocks. It looks like Thor may be onto something. Janet and Ted are talking and she thinks there's something off with him. He tells her things haven't been great. Marjorie left and it's just been him and his shadow. Meanwhile, Brett is in the trailer messing around. He finds a strange book on werewolves and it kind of scares him. Back with Thor in the woods and he finds what appears to be human remains. Thor returns to Brett and gives him a little scare. Ted comes inside the trailer and Thor seems to be weary of him. He tells his sister they should be get going as it's getting dark out and they have a long drive ahead. She wants him to stay with her and he agrees, but not tonight. The next day he calls his sister telling her it was nice having the family up, his voice all shaky. She asks what's wrong and he says nothing, as we see tons of police investigating the area. He asks if he can come up and visit now and she says of course, while Thor starts to whimper. Janet and Ted are having some drinks and she says she's happy to have him over. Thor starts going through his stuff and Janet shoes him away. She finds some handcuffs, playfully mocking her brother, and he says it's not what you think. It's nighttime and Thor watches as Ted takes off for a run. He's barking like a maniac so Janet lets him outside. Thor walks through the forest, coming to an area where he finds a werewolf, handcuffed to a tree. The beast scratches and claws, trying to break free. It growls and snarls at Thor while he barks at it. Suddenly Janet calls for him and he goes back running to her, whimpering as he knows what's out there. The next morning, Brett is trying to play fetch with Thor, but he's fixated on Ted's trailer. Ted comes out and Thor just starts growling at him. Ted looks at him and says, in good time, old boy. In good time. Of course, there just so happens to be an old werewolf movie on TV. Ted jokingly tells Brett, in his experience, werewolves don't need a full moon to change, and the silver bullet thing? A shotgun blast to the head is equally as effective. He asks Janet about it last night and tells her she can't let Brett or Thor out when it's dark. She asks if he's okay and he just walks off. Later in the day, Thor is watching the trailer as Ted comes out, ready to chain himself. He asks his sister to call her dog in so he can go for a run. She calls Thor in and he leaves as he's running out of time. That night, Thor starts barking again, so Brett lets him outside. Thor walks along, finding shredded clothing and a pair of broken handcuffs. Thor bolts it back to the house. There, he finds the werewolf. He jumps at the beast, biting, clawing, and getting injured in the process. Janet wakes up, turning on the lights and scaring the werewolf away. She goes outside and finds Thor with a nice cut on his head. Janet brings him inside and calls the sheriff but Thor decides to go lay with and protect Brett. Janet goes outside to find her brother, but comes across photos he took of his mauled girlfriend. She reads his journal documenting what is happening to him. Meanwhile, the werewolf is outside, stalking her. Ted is hoping that the love of his family will help him fight off this disease. The damn swindler is back, carrying a meat cleaver and looking for Thor. And he gets exactly what he deserves. The next morning, Thor watches as Ted slinks back to his trailer. The sheriff arrives saying they found the swindler and he thinks Thor may have killed him. He tells her if Thor did indeed kill the man, then to be careful, as he'll have a taste for blood. Janet lets Thor out and again he just watches the trailer. Ted comes out and Janet asks him what happened last night. Did he see or hear anything? He winks at Thor and the dog lunges, biting his arm. Janet pulls him inside the house and locks him in the laundry room. 
Animal Control arrives and they're taking Thor. Brett starts freaking out and his mother says he's dangerous. Ted comes out and waves to the dog as it's being taken away. Things get awkward at the dinner table as Janet is really suspicious of her brother. That night, and Dennis the Menace here is packing his bag with equipment. He's sneaking out to go free Thor. Janet watches as her brother sneaks off for his run. She grabs a gun and a flashlight and is going to go after him, but she decides not to take the gun. Brett makes it to the pound looking for Thor. Meanwhile, Janet finds her brother, who can smell her presence. He tells her she should have listened to the dog. He was trying to protect her. He starts transforming and Janet runs for her life. Meanwhile, Brett finds Thor and is able to free him. Thor flies down the road, desperately trying to make it in time. Brett following along on his bike. Thor dodges in and out of traffic, while Janet manages to make it home, grabbing the gun. The werewolf comes crashing through the window, trying to get to Janet. It breaks through a door, creeping towards her. But then Thor jumps on his back, biting the creature. Thor charges at it again, thrusting it into the wall. The werewolf and Thor bite and claw one another. Thor bites its neck and it throws him across the room. Brett arrives and it grabs him by the throat, but Janet shoots it in the back. She shoots over and over, but runs out of ammo. Thor gets up, running at the beast and throwing both of them out of the window. They're both badly injured and the werewolf slowly walks back to the forest, with Thor following after him. It's morning and Thor finds a badly injured Ted. He tells the dog to do it, finish it, and Thor strikes. Some time has passed and the family are thanking Thor for saving them, but holy hell he's a monster. Ah, never mind, it was just a nightmare. Thor had better be getting a nice steak though after what he did. I hope you enjoyed today's look at Bad Moon. If you'd like more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and take care.